To prove the power reducing formulas for sine and cosine, we start with the double angle formula for cosine. And in fact, we start with the double angle formula for cosine for both of them. So we know that the, uh, that the cosine, we know that the cosine of 2x is equal to uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And so we're interested in what uh, cosine squared x is equal to and what sine squared x is equal to. So we're going to make a substitution here using the trigonometric Pythagorean theorem. So we know, for instance, uh, that <coughs> we know that cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. So we'll make that substitution right here. And so we have that uh, cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. And so I can combine like terms here on the right hand side. So I have cosine 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And so if I can get this sine squared x by itself, then I have successfully reduced the power on uh, sine squared x. So subtract 1 from both sides, and I get uh, cosine 2x minus 1 is negative 2 sine squared x. And now I divide both sides by negative 2, and we find that sine squared x is equal to uh, 1 minus cosine 2x, that's all over 2, and that can be written as 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x. And so that's the power reducing formula for sine squared x. Sine squared x is 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x. Okay, so what's the power reducer for cosine squared? Well, we actually start with the exact same uh, trig identity, the double angle formula for cosine. So we'll start at the start here. But this time, instead of making the substitution here, we make this substitution. We say that sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x. Again, that's from the trigonometric Pythagorean theorem. So substitute 1 minus cosine squared in for sine squared here. And we get uh, cosine squared x <coughs> minus 1 minus cosine squared x. And so this is cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine squared x, which is exactly 2 cosine squared x minus 1. So now we're going to add 1 to both sides so that I have cosine 2x plus 1 is 2 cosine squared x. And now we divide both sides by 2 to find that cosine squared x is equal to uh, 1 half times cosine 2x plus 1. So those are the power, that's, that's the power reducer for cosine squared x. So now we know how to show both, uh, both power reducing formulas, both for cosine squared and sine squared. Uh, super helpful when you're integrating, uh, for instance, sine squared or cosine squared.